Hi hey guys, welcome back to the garage. And uh, I've been a little bit busy lately with some uh, home projects that I got going on. And I'll show you one real quick off the back door here. If you guys can see that out there. That is a clubhouse slash shed that I'm building for my grandson at the moment. And it's been taking up all my free time. I don't know if I can zoom in on it. Probably not. Um, that's what I'm working. This is what I'm working on right here, guys. And it should be pretty cool when it's done. I have a little porch on it. Yeah, it's pretty nice inside. A couple of windows. Porch. And on the side here, this hole, is going to be a little door that opens up. And from right about here, down to the ground, it's gonna be a angled wall with um, rock grabs for uh, like rock crawl, rock, rock wall climbing and stuff so that you can climb up and then go down inside and I got to get the roof on from what it looks like up there we got delamination on the plywood so I need to get that roof on there ASAP and I'm gonna get on that today and uh, if this is something you guys want to see in the future let me know comment below anyway that's uh that's the project I'm working on and uh, as you guys know I have a full-time job so I only do this stuff on my spare time and I've been really busy but I want to get a video together so we're gonna do this guy right here don't laugh I know it's a 50 cc KTM two-stroke and um, it does run I started it It doesn't run very well uh, I'm not gonna start it right now uh, you'll take my word for it and um, it's a friend of mine's son's and he wants me to fix it for him. And it's, uh, I guess he bought it to flip it. Maybe to use it to make a little money. Uh, he's a pretty big kid. I want to say he's like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, height wise. And obviously this is way too small for him. But he can't sell it until he gets it running right. And we can stick a look down here. I mean, you guys can see that or not. But we're missing the boot to the airbox. And the carburetor. Doesn't fit, sit very tight on that. Um, um, I don't want to call it a manifold, but uh, the reed, the reed boot doesn't sit very tight on there. It's kind of loose. So I think what we're going to do is uh, just take a look, see what we can figure out here. Uh, he doesn't want to spend a lot of money on it. He just wants to get it running so that he can sell it. So um, let's get the stand, pull the seat off, and see what we're looking at here. Uh, let's pull the seat off and see what we got going on up here. And from the looks of it, we have a brand new air filter. Not really sure how that connects. Let me, uh, let me grab a screw gun here. see it's just a hole going atmosphere and you're never going to get this to run right if you don't have proper back pressure so let's um let's take these plastics off how are we looking here is that a screw or not it's got all kinds of different mismatching hardware on here all right here we go and it's funny too because these this thing oh boy That air box go all the way through. It does. So it's burnt. It's burnt itself through. So the air box is never really going to work right. Yeah, I mean, look at how loose that is. Ooh, I can't see it. Look how loose that is. I mean, that's really not even on there. So it appears they replaced the car, and I'm gonna say they used something a little bit bigger. All right, let's put this on the bench. 
There's a cob. Put it on the bench for now. I think right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the reeds out of here and I'm going to look at them. So I'm going to pull that off right now. All right, I got the reeds out. And if you guys can see here, you can see that there's, you can see the daylight through there and daylight through there. So these reeds, I'm going to flip the reeds around to try to eliminate that because they shouldn't be open like that. It should only be open when the motor's running. So that's one of the problems right there. All right, so looking in there at the piston, I don't know if you guys can see it, but the piston looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. You got compression. I'm gonna clean, clean that out a little bit. And um, I think we're pretty good there. So uh, let's go over to the bench and work on the other stuff. Well guys, we got a problem here. As I was cleaning this, I noticed a little crack on it and I noticed it was bent and it snapped right off. So that is no good. Um, we're gonna have to figure something out on that. Uh, I guess at this point here, we can go look at the carburetor. I don't know what's going on with that. Let's do that. All right, guys. This is uh, somebody. Looks like somebody put this thing in here to try to take up the space. But as I look down inside here, I don't think I got a light. Yeah. As I look down inside there, I do see some type of a seal, and I think the seal goes over the intake manifold and that's how it seals and it's pushed all the way in I don't think it's supposed to be all the way in let's try taking that thing out I can without breaking it there we go now, I don't know what that is but we'll put that in there for now and then there's a seal in here let's see if I can pop that out and I'm pretty sure that this it's supposed to go on that. And it is. And then you clamp down on it. And that's supposed to... Well, it is a little bit big though, isn't it? It's going to take a hacksaw blade. And I'm going to saw down through this slit to widen it. So that we have more clamping force. And... Uh, let me stuff a piece of paper down in there. Just so. Just to keep stuff from falling in there. All right, guys, I widened the gap. Let's see what it looks like on here now. Still, still too big. And this needs to take up the gap in there, so it's still too big. It needs more needs to come up. And it is pretty tight. And I think we have engagement with the back of it. So we should be good. Let's see if I can tighten that up now. I feel it feels like well, maybe maybe not I mean it's tight it's it's movable but it is tight it's a lot better than it was and for what we're looking to do I think this is going to be just fine let me just take a look down in there yeah we have engagement with the seal so we should be fine all right guys we got the parts in that we we're waiting for and as you guys can see we have the uh, air pod and we have the new reed cage and uh, we are going to assemble this and there's the uh, inner piece so you guys this is the old one I'm pull this out you can see it's broken and we still have the gaskets uh, I'm gonna try to reuse these I might put some uh, gasket maker on there we'll wait and see and you got the inner piece and uh, some more the actual reeds themselves which actually look pretty good so I am going to take the reeds out of this and if you can see you can see that this reed right here see how it's not it's not sitting flush it should be flush like this one it's not the easiest way to fix this is to flip them around um, this reed cage is just a, a little different than the other one. This kind of has like like maximums for it, so it can't open further than I guess it needs to. 
where the other set didn't have them. I don't know if somebody changed the reeds out and left them off. Well, it just didn't come with them. I don't know. But I'm going to leave these on here. And uh, I'm going to work on getting, getting the screws out so I can flip those around. <clears throat> All right. They don't want to come out. And that is standard issue for these things. So I don't want to break this reed box. I do need to swoop these around. Right, let me see if I can get that off with a pair of pliers. That one don't want to come off. This one here I was able to crack. This one does not want to come off. Hmm. Let me see if I can uh, take this screw out. Sometimes you can... I can get it to break free if this if, if the if the grip is really strong on this. <sighs> Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can uh, grab a screwdriver here and try to pry this up. Maybe I can get it to. There we go. We got it. Boy, that didn't want to come off. <laughs> Oh, these reeds are a little different. These might have been changed out at some point. Alright, I'm going to wipe them down and then flip it. Oh, uh, you know what? I think I might take the screws from this one. It might be better. Yeah, I think that'll do it much better for us. I can get them tight. Alright, those are tight. And as you can see now, there is no more gap there. So these reeds are closed properly. And when they open, they'll open properly and they close. So all ready to go throw that thing back in. All right, I got some gasket maker on there and I'm just gonna pop it in. I got a gasket maker on both sides of this. Make sure we put that in there before I forget. That's in. I'll put this on. All right, guys, I can't get the carburetor in here. It's just not coming up far enough. It's hitting the frame, the top of the cob, which is right here. It's hitting the frame. So, this is not the right carburetor for this bike. I don't know who put this on here, but apparently it looks like it got a new twist throw too. Um, I'm going to cut the frame. I'm going to take a notch out of this frame. I mean, nobody's going to a jumps with this thing anyway. It's only a little tiny bike. So I'm just going to take the corner out here. Should be fine. Should be struct shouldn't be any structural issues at all. Um, so I'm going to do that now. Alright, I'm gonna take my Dremel and I'm gonna cut the rest of this out. And I don't suggest cutting the frame on a uh, dirt bike or an ATV to make something fit. But this is a KTM. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs>
feel like the uh, air mixture screw is doing anything, so it's probably got an air leak still. I guess at this point we'll put it back together and call it a day all right guys this one's over um here it is it's all together um it runs okay it runs better than it did um it's a freebie i don't own this uh it belongs to a friend of mine's son and uh i did the he didn't want to put a lot of money into it i think they just want to sell it because his son's outgrown it and i think i got 30 30 bucks in pots into it. Um, I don't know who put the cob on, but it's not the right cob. Uh, it should run good enough for some, you know, 12 year old to rip around his neighborhood on it and uh, have some fun. Anyway, that's done. If you guys can see over here, the truck is back. <laughs> back from the transmission company, the transmission center. Uh, they quoted me 3,500. It ended up being 4,500. Uh, he said that I completely smoked the transmission. He never seen one that bad before. The tor torque converter was actually blue, and he showed it to me, and it was blue. So he had to replace the pump. He had to replace everything. Looks like I'm not selling that for a while now, but it still looks good. So there's that. But I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, I had to get it done. Uh, one of the other things that I've been working on, as you guys can see out there, is my grandson's clubhouse, and that is done. I know it's pretty far away. It's raining out right now. I'm not going to walk out there. I'll get some better shots of that later. Show you guys what it looks like when it's done. I'm in the process of painting it right now. Painting the trim white. Then I'm going to paint the body blue. To match the shed over there. And also to match the house. So that's getting done. So if you guys are wondering why I haven't uh, posted any videos. Um, in a couple of weeks. And then I posted uh, you know, a video on fixing that. It's because I've been super busy. And I've been dealing with my dad who has uh, dementia and stuff. So it's been a uh, full-time job on top of my full-time job on top of videoing. So there's that. Anyway, uh, short video, um, KTM 50. I don't like KTM products. You'll never see one on this channel outside of this one. Uh, I just don't like them. And um, that's it. That's just my preference. I'm sure that some of you guys like them. I don't know. Comment in the comments below. Um, let me know what you guys think of KTM. I personally, not a fan. Anyway, moving on. We're going to come over this way. This is still here. I haven't even attempted to sell it yet. 
Um, there's a video coming on it and you'll see why. And then there's this guy over here, my wife's. I'm going to uh, do a little bit of work on that because that, that thing kept dying on us. It wasn't running right. And um, there'll be a video on it. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Comment, like, share. I appreciate it. all you guys that continue to watch and continue to, um, you know, help the channel grow. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video here uh, of the KTM 50. And there'll be plenty of more content coming. Thanks for watching.